someone visits your website and once they get in touch with you, you want to be able to keep them organized, streamline your communication with them, track their progress as a prospective client, and then eventually book them with a contract and collect their payment. A lead in Sprout is a prospective client. It's someone who's inquired with you but hasn't quite booked you yet. Of course, once they sign a contract and pay, they become in Sprout what's called a shoot. To get visitors from your website into Sprout Studio as a lead, you build a contact form in Sprout and then you can embed it or you can link to it from your website. Let's build a contact form now together. The first thing that I recommend doing is mapping out the questions that you want to ask on your contact form ahead of time. So take some time, write that out on paper, put it into a document so that you know what kind of questions you want to be adding into your contact form. And now that you've done that, we'll hop into Sprout and build a contact form. Click the settings button in the lower left corner and then click communication and then contact forms. Click the plus button here and then add a contact form. This is the Sprout Studio contact form builder. It's very similar to the questionnaire builder. So a lot of this is going to be familiar if you're used to that. Let's call this my contact form. And it's basically just a bunch of fields that you can drag and drop around that you can add new fields down here and then you can click to edit on the left hand side. So if you wanted to remove one of the fields, you could just click the X over here to remove it. And if you wanted to add a field down here, you can go ahead and add a field like this. For each of the questions, you can specify whether it is a small field or a large field. You can also make it optional or required. And then you can make it conditional, which is a really useful tool for getting more specific, but only when it makes sense in a contact form. So for example, I've just asked the question, are you getting married in the church? I can now ask a question, what church, but only have it show up if they said yes beforehand. So now this question will only show up if they click yes on that question. And I can also put these side by side by making that one small and then also making this one small. Once you've done, once you're finished building out your questions on your contact form, you can save this and then you can link to it from your website and you can get the link by clicking the sharing section here and then copying the link here. Or if you want to embed it on your website, simply copy this code, paste it onto your website, and now anyone that fills out this contact form on your website will become a new lead in Sprout Studio.